Now let's have a look at providing liquidity with multiple tokens at the same time. Now I do have some Blues tokens, Milkader, and also Copy tokens, which I swapped a little bit earlier in my wallet. So I can use any of those three tokens to provide into the DEX itself. And all of those tokens I know are in the Cardano index. So I'm going to expand this and have a look at its composition. So here I can see it's made up of 22% Blues, made of 19% Wi-Fi, 18% Endmaker, 18% Copy, and then also that 20% of Milk Ada there. Now I know this particular portfolio, it, the aim the, or the level that each one of these tokens is trying to reach is around that 20% mark. And I can click on it, show more details, and this will give me the breakdown of the target and the current share of the index. So there always is a target that this index is trying to reach, but here you can see the share of this particular index for the Blues token is at 22%. So it's a little bit high there. And if I was to provide liquidity to the DEX with that token, I'd suffer some price impact. In the contrary, if I provided with Endmaker tokens, I wouldn't suffer any price impact. i will be able to do so easily. Now on the flip side, if I was to withdraw tokens at the moment, because the share is at 22% for the Blues tokens, withdrawing in terms of Blues is ideal because I wouldn't suffer any price impact. But if I was to withdraw with copy or end maker, I would suffer a little bit of price impact. Now the share is quite close to 20%, so I wouldn't worry too much at this point in time, but it is something to keep in mind. So now that I can see this, I'm going to add liquidity to this particular index using a few tokens. In this case, I'm going to provide using copy and also with a little bit of milk ADA. So I'm going to click on add liquidity and this brings me the Cardano Index liquidity screen. Now I'm here on the left-hand side, I can type in the amount in terms of USD that I wish to add to the DEX. In this case, I'll add in $3 worth of liquidity. And what the DEX does, it works out which tokens you can provide to the DEX that will minimize the price impact and optimize the amount of liquidity that's being added in. So here I can see that um, I can add in easily the 32 copy tokens because the share of that token is less than its target. I can also share a little bit of milk ADA, but in this case it's telling me I'm better off providing some blues tokens and it's only 1.8 blues tokens. So I don't think I'll suffer a massive amount of price impact there. So everything overall looks really good to me and I'm gonna click on the add liquidity button. This gives me the summary screen, so I'm gonna add in some copy and some blues. Everything there looks good to me. Add liquidity, and this will again give me some prompts that I need to verify and sign for my MetaMask wallet. So the first is the spending cap, which I need to first set. That looks all good to me there. I'll click on next and approve. And next is the spending cap for the other token blues here. Everything there looks good too. I could click on max if I want, but in this case, I'll just continue. So now that the tokens that I'm using have been approved to use, I can now verify this particular transaction, click on confirm, and then process this adding of liquidity to the DEX. There we go, and we're done. It's that quick and easy to add liquidity to the decks.